you know, I got to bring up, this is off the top of my head, but when you uh, won the title a second time from Savage at a TV taping in Hershey, PA, I was there. I was there because I got smartened up. In fact, I sat with your wife at the time, which was just uh, delightful. And uh, uh, Beth. Okay. <laughs> come on. you got to have that timeline memorized at, at, at the very least, champ. But, uh, but, but I if I – it, it, if I, it, gets, it gets confusing sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> well, if I recall correctly, that match got started. Excuse me. It started. It stopped. Yep. Been stopped. And then you yep. redid it. What What exactly happened there? I'm not sure I ever got the whole story on that because obviously it got edited for TV. But if you were there live as I was, it was kind of confusing. Yeah, it was. We just started out. It was horrid. It, 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 people didn't want to see the match. They weren't reacting. And I think Vince saw that right away. He ran, I think he sent Razor down or somebody or Bobby to stop the match, you know? And I, I, it's, that's why I was giving him back the title, I think, right? No, no, you won the title. Oh, I won the title. Okay. Yeah, that was your remember. second title win, right? Oh, yeah, that's right. After, after Mania. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't know what the deal was. I know that Randy didn't want to lose it. It's one of those situations. Um, you know, you have to remember that I came in out of nowhere, right? And I didn't have, you know, I had a lot of friends there. I wasn't like, I don't think I was held in the same esteem in Randy's eyes um, as a guy that had been there for a long time. You know what I mean? Who yeah. knows? But it, it's one of those things that just didn't go well. And it, the match actually, the match was absolutely horrible. Um, I mean, it's nothing I can ever say I'm proud of, but. I can't tell you, I, I can't remember all the mechanics of it. I just know Vince wasn't happy with it. Randy didn't want to lose. Um, and it's pretty hard when someone doesn't want to do business. I didn't take it personally, but you know, I, I don't know. I, I just think that they thought that without Liz, Randy didn't have as much um, drawing power as he did with her. That'd be my take on it. What kind of relationship do you have with Hogan now? Great. How often Great. do you guys talk? Uh, every two weeks. Every two weeks. Um, he's uh, having he's had some really bad health issues. So and uh, but he keeps up with me. We support each other, good and bad. Um, you know, when I was in the hospital, he flew up that day, and uh, and you know, like everybody else, like that came to see me, at Charles Barkley, and. Darius and people, any celebrities that came, they got mobbed by the hospital staff and they were, Hulk was gracious, Jimmy Hart was great. I don't remember seeing him because I was in a coma, but they made the effort to go, you know, which is, um, those are the kind of things that mean a lot. And also, which I've said publicly, when my son was um, going through all the issues and <clears throat> was in the hospital, I couldn't keep up with the rehab bills or the hospital bills because every time I gave him, you know, the responsibility of paying his own insurance or something it would lapse or his phone bill or, you know, at some time you try to, you have to get, teach him how to be responsible. And um, I called him one day and I said, man, I need $14,000. He said, call this person. I had it in an hour. I've never forgotten it. 